Okay, so let's have a look at the evaluation on this game. So we push through the centre, trying to manage the squares here and here. So it is a three minute game, but we're attempting to try and make them normal. I know they are a bit too fast, you do make a lot of errors and mistakes. And time is a factor as well, because I'm trying to put in long play thinking into short play games. It can't really work, but you know, you have to try. So they take the um, take the pawn and we just bring the knight up, attacking the queen. So the queen moves back one space. Probably not the best place for the queen, but nothing major that we can do with it at this moment in time. So we develop the knight. And then we push through the centre with the pawn, opening up the dark square bishop, but also looking to manage key squares with the pawn, as we've mentioned before. Okay, so the opponent opens, looking to go for the fianchetto. Bit of, a, bit of a slower line, but for us that's good, it's a positive for us, so we can attack their king with our bishop. Knight comes to defend, so we, did, we do capture. Bearing in mind it is a three minute game, so the opponent will be doing quick moves, as well as I'm doing quick moves as well. And so they capture with the knight, so the knight's going backwards, so we castle, king safety. So they bring their bishop through now onto the Fianchetto line. Again, still a bit of a slow process. We bring our bishop through, looking to attack the key um, weak pawn, maybe looking to support here and get the queen here, if we have that time. But in my back of my head, I'm thinking, well, he's going to challenge the bishop anyway. If he doesn't, bring the bishop here and look what's in the line of fire the queen. So that genuinely was the real reason for bringing the bishop here. So they don't attack the um, the bishop, but we bring the bishop back anyway because we're still in more to set mode of coming here with the bishop attacking the queen. Obviously there was potentially a better move, say knight b5, which is attacking the queen, is it I suppose? Yeah, there is that as well. But I'm thinking get more pieces out, get them settled into nice position, and then at least I'm not doing like single attacks with the knight because the queen can come and defend itself probably sit here and attack the pawn and all sorts um, so that's my rationale for doing that so we brought the bishop back anyway and then we placed it into the position that we said we wanted to which was if they kept their queen there still attack the queen so now we're making them do something they didn't want to do so we bring the knight up it's not saying that that was the best move it's saying uh, potentially d5 d5 where's d5 S slotting that here maybe block blocking the bishop from attacking or something um i don't know if i'm full of them apples so fairly okay with what i did i know it's a big massive drop it's on the minus twos they do take and we capture with the pawn pawns on the queen so now we're at minus 1.8 so we're not actually winning but during the game didn't feel like that felt like i was making the opponent do stuff they didn't want to do disheveling their position uh, constantly so we push the pawn up now protecting against the the battery on this side and then they castle and then i can develop my queen through now so um at this moment in time didn't feel any way shape that i was um losing by well this is now minus 0.5 so now we're just going for a simple exchange as expected see whether or not they do capture they capture so in my head i'm thinking positionally this isn't too bad let's go for a queen exchange i know the computer don't like queen exchanges um but then they put a check on so we can now block off so still feeling really comfortable about this position chasing their queen looking to get their queen off the board this is the third third attempt at getting their queen off they do eventually capture and then we capture we're owning the file with the rook which is a key thing for us so now we can start attacking the pawn at the back so he's now having to do stuff doesn't want to do which is defending the rook defending the pawn so looking to just sort out my bed first before we look for any major attacks supporting this pawn so at least my bishop potentially can get into the game so the king comes across looking to get our rook so now we're looking to do some sort of activity either pressing onto the queen or maybe even just put, bringing the rook here and putting a check on so we put a check on with the rook moves out of the way and then we just start attacking the pawns making them do stuff that they don't want to do um, obviously not feeling too overconfident because you know they've still got like um, the same amount of pieces as what we've got but I feel that we're in a better position on the board 
So we bring the rook up now, looking to exchange, so that bishop can take it off the board. Bishop takes it, uh, as it's showing, it's showing slightly better for black. I didn't feel that at all in any way, shape. Felt really comfortable with this position, and it's even showing minus two here at this moment in time, which is my area of concern if it does show that. But again, didn't feel that in the game. I felt, well, his bishop's stuck here. He's gonna have to bring his bishop out, if anything, uh, to get into the game. So bring the king up and bring our king up a bit further and now we can capture so the bishop staying there for a bit so now they're starting to push down again it looks drawish but depending on what the opponent does realistically i'm thinking we're kind of more advanced up the board especially with our pawn here uh, in those situations when it's against me um, usually the opponent does win out when they're highly advanced up the board especially with a pawn so we're now looking to try and win the tempo in terms of developing the pieces so as we're playing through the game we're taking a little bit longer with our thought process um, we're bringing in a long player thinking now because it is getting to a nice end game really quite enjoying this position uh, so we push through block off the pawn they capture so at this point here now I definitely know that there's like not Zugzwang but we have more advantage now because of the position that we've got with our king and with the bishop. So we can now capture quite safely and now the bishop is really going to be stuck, can't protect everything and really it's just a matter of position play with the king, king can now take this pawn off the board <coughs> if need be, couldn't look to get the bishop off. I'll take the pawn off the board. <clears throat> so now the king's got loads of pieces to contend with. So we bring the bishop through, just protecting the pawn. His bishop's currently protecting here, but we do have a nice little passer here that could cause some trouble. So we start pushing that up and push it onto the bishop. Bishop captures. And at this point in time, absolutely beautiful position. And really pleased that I got to this position. I'm really comfortable and happy. So now all we need to do is advance our pieces up the board but the long play thinking that I'd put in the earlier part of the game did cost me in the game so we did actually lose on time in this particular game but I thought I'm going to sh <coughs> show this game because I'm really pleased with the way that we developed in the game we did bring in the long play thinking it was a little bit more complicated um, for a three minute game and to actually get improvements in this um, going forward there were areas as the eval sh bar showing and um, where we could have gained further advantages we lost advantages but in my head it felt clean to me uh, it, it, there weren't major concerns it dropped down to minus two you know minus 2.1 that was the, the highest um, and when I do my own evaluations I do say well okay I've got to think about that and maybe take something on board in this situation looking at the particular move that it was suggesting this is a blitz match um not going to have time to really think of those slow mamby pamby type moves you have to be a bit dynamic in blitz and i, I felt that we did the appropriate maneuvers to gain the position that we had um, so losing on time i'm not too bothered about that i'm more impressed with the way that we kind of played the game and developed from there so yeah comfortable